It is Wednesday the 2nd of January 2019. Spent a bit of time in the kitchen today making 17 jars of this. It's beetroot and horseradish relish and uh, we grow all the ingredients for this ourselves. And uh, the thing about uh, planting uh, the horseradish is once you've planted it <laughs> you have it forever no matter how often you dig it up so we found that relish uh, recipe a few years ago and we've made it every year since then because it's a really nice one and we often sell it as well and what I'm also need to do today uh, sorry didn't get around to doing today but uh, we'll be doing tomorrow is putting the last of the fat that we've been uh, processing um, into containers. Most of them will go into the freezer but we'll keep one or two out and uh, this is a pot of the lard and we're going to use that to make the pastry for a meat pie I'm going to do because we still have loads of game in the freezer in our freezers and therefore I'm going to get the some of the game out tonight, let it defrost overnight, and then we'll make the game pies over the next couple of days. Which means we use some of the gelatine that's in there. You see that gelatine there? Some of that will be used in the pie as well. And the only other thing that we've done today, which is about self-sufficiency, is that uh, a friend of ours was cutting a tree down next to his house, a big ash tree, and uh, he got us to come along and get uh, the branches, uh, so most of them are chopped up. Still loads more to get tomorrow, uh, but we ran out of light. Uh, so what we, we had, we took down to the allotment and fed to the goats, and they are stripping them of bark, so it'll be interesting to see how they're getting on. And finally, I've just been watching a programme, uh, I think it was on Channel 4, which is about what people bought in Britain in 2018 and I am even more convinced I've done absolutely the right thing in getting out of the rat race because the, what they spent their money on was unnecessary rubbish which just damages the environment. It doesn't necessarily make people feel better or happier that they've got even more clothes than they had previously, which they hardly ever wear. And some of the, the clothes companies, the clothes manufacturers, were sort of trying to make out that their goods that they make were sustainable because they were made from recycled materials or because they were recyclable. And the, the fact is that even if you're recycling materials, it still takes resources uh, to process them and to turn them into new products. We just got to stop buying stuff all the time. We don't need hundreds of the same bits of clothing. We don't need to change our clothing every few weeks and get rid of it and get new stuff in. And it's just so depressing watching what is happening to our planet whilst people just keep spending, spending, spending on stuff that they don't need and television programmes that say these are the latest must-have items. Just step back from it and say no.